I'm going to ask you a serious question. How are you keeping it together? Whatever your job is, how are you keeping a well-maintained diet of making sure that you're dedicated, loyal, you've got perseverance? How are you doing it? Because those around you may not be doing it. And somehow, some way, your dedication is going, why am I the only one working here today? Where, where is everybody? Who's given people permission to not show up for work anymore? I thought we had a team. Yeah, a team of one, right? But seriously, how are you keeping it together? Because this is something that we all are facing and we need to use each other's experiences in order to push ourselves through those moments where you feel like that you are the only one that is getting the job done. Hey, it's Errol. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I am a silent wolf. That means I stand back and I just watch. I listen. I study. I look things up and then I try to go, how can I incorporate this into a world, onto a path, somewhere so that we can all grow peacefully together? This is The Daily Mess. Learning how to accept a sinking roster. When your workplace workforce pulls out of the daily race just a few minutes or hours before reporting to the expectation, those in attendance face a day of double and triple duty which has a way of weakening our morale. Decision makers are affected, so they lay out new rules of not coming to work. If you aren't feeling well, don't come to work. Nobody can afford it. Picking up a virus? No, we don't need it. So we've had to learn how to accept a sinking roster. I'm not really sure why I didn't have to deal with this during my days of terrestrial radio. Or has it gotten worse as bosses have accepted an employee's reasons for calling in sick? Research shows business leaders are now being trained to help workers cope with the unexpected. And yes, since the pandemic, sick leave has gone through the roof. The average person takes off 15.5 hours of sick leave a year. That's up 42% since 2019. Learning how to deal with a sinking roster. It's building your self-confidence and your courage. It's having the knowledge to grow forward. You're getting experience that other people, they're not getting it because they're not showing up or they don't care to show up. Some people come to work just to just be there, to do what Gary Brobes used to say, lobby gagging. In other words, they come to work to talk with other people, just to be with other people. I totally get that. I understand our personal need to have community around us. But we've got to get the job done. And those that are saying, okay, okay, hey, you, I realize uh, you're, you're really deep into that conversation. I'm going to go do it then, okay? They try to do that as a guilt trip that, okay, I'm, I'm going to go, go do this, okay? Just you know, get the attention and then go do it. And then inside their mind, they're going, I don't have to do anything. They're going to do it for me anyway. And that is where leadership is failing. They need to stop saying, okay, I'll do it. I, I, was, I was headed in that direction anyway. No, look at the one who is dropping off the roster and tell them. Don't ask them. Tell them. This is the expectation. You need to do it. But, but here's what we do. There. It's, I always call it restaurant-itis. And what restaurant-itis is, is when the waiter comes over and says, are you ready to place your order? And someone says, can I have wait a second, why are you asking? Because my answer would be, no, you can't have. Well, why not? Well, because you asked me, can I have? No, what you need to do when you're ordering at a restaurant is say what you want. And I think that's, that's where it all starts, is that we feel like we have to ask somebody to show up on the roster, when in fact, the rules state, be there, or there's the door. It makes me sound like a jerk, right? I'm not accountability is what's missing from the workplace i totally grip the idea that there are a lot of viruses and we don't want people to come to work sick i totally get that but what happens is is that the very second that we wake up with a little moan in our tummy it's like well i'm not going in uh i got some binge watching to do uh you know he said if you don't feel well don't come in don't bring it i get it i get it but when it's happening often 
Now we have to do something about it. And it's not that I'm being a jerk. I'm just saying we've got to change together. I said in the very beginning, let's share our experiences and our personal journeys so that we can help ourselves become a stronger generation of very dedicated and loyal employees. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.